welcome to my channel where I talk about language learning and books and sometimes sing a little bit here and there. So today I actually want to do a little study vlog uh, for Swedish because Young Royals is finally coming this second season. The whole reason why I started to even notice the Swedish language and like um, got an interest for it and wanted to learn uh, was because of the show so I'm really excited and I feel like I want to understand at least like 10% more of what I did back then when I watched the first season when the first season came out um, so I need you know I need to step up I need to, to study um, uh, just showing a little bit like what I do and the things that I use the resources and stuff like that in a normal day when I want to focus more on the language. So today I'm, I'm going to be showing a little bit of what I do in the little study moment with uh, Swedish and I hope you like it. Okay guys, so the first thing I do is a little to-do list. I do it on Notion, pretty simple stuff. Um, and as you can see here on the screen, I'm going to be focusing on listening today. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first thing on my list, which is watch a video on YouTube about Swedish, of course. I have two channels that I watch a lot of here, uh, Fun Swedish and uh, The Swedish Lesson. But today I'm going to go with The Swedish Lesson. Um, they have a lot of videos that are a bit more structured um, in like a classroom type of way. Um, they have a lot of videos about like grammar, which are also, it's also important. I just watched one about um, writing and I thought it was really interesting uh, but today I'm gonna go with one of uh, the videos in their series that of like Swedish for beginners and it's cool because they like uh, number them uh, I actually end up going to one that I had already seen it I realized this after but it was no biggie I just clicked on another one and it was really really cool really interesting uh, as you can see here, I just open it and I just watch it. Some are a bit longer, some are in a like smaller format, but this has like 19 minutes, so it's gonna take a little while. Okay, so then I just come back to my little to-do list. I check the one that I just did, and then I go to the next one, which is Duolingo, everyone's favorite green angry owl. <laughs> uh, but all jokes aside, I actually do use a lot of Duolingo and I actually do enjoy it. Um, I have gone through a little bit of the course for Swedish already. Uh, I was actually surprised to say that I, was, that I was in the second in the whole like league thing that they do. Um, but anyways, I enjoy it because I think it's really good for vocab building um, and it's a good tool. So the one I'm gonna be doing it's like more I think grammar stuff uh, I finished this one uh, the geography one that same morning because it was easier because I already knew the vocab but this one here has like 10 little like phases that you have to go through in order to complete the whole circle and I think that's a bit too much Duolingo but okay I'm gonna do it anyways um, so yeah uh, I think everybody knows by now how Duolingo works uh, they kind of mix a little bit of like writing exercises, with listening exercises, with uh, speaking exercises, which I don't always get uh, when I'm doing it. I don't know why, maybe something in my settings that I have to change, but I really like them uh, because it really helps you to to just practice your, your pronunciation too. And that's important, especially in a language like Swedish, because the intonation and all of that like really matters. Uh, you're going to see a little, hear a little bit of that here right now in my shitty uh, PC sound, but anyways. So there you go. That was me speaking a little bit of Swedish there. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. And I just keep doing a little bit more. Uh, I finished the whole course, but I'm not going to show all of this here because it, it would be too long. Like I said, we all get the gist of how it works. Um, so at this moment is usually it's usually when I do a little vocab list I do not do this all the time and I definitely do not write down every single word I don't know because that's just not practical 
what I do is I write down usually in like a post-it so I can put it around my room so I can always see it just those words that I feel like are important or that I know I see like them repeatedly a lot and then of course I have to have my little coffee which is actually what I'm drinking right now <laughs> so then I just come back to my little to-do list I check all the things that I already did and I go to the next one which right now it's a podcast these two yellowy ones here are the ones that I usually listen to but today I'm gonna be doing this one um, it's really cool Oscar the guy that like does the podcast 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 uh, he just talks about like different like random subjects but in a way that is understandable enough for a beginner but also challenging too because you always want to keep a little bit of like a challenge you don't want to understand every single thing otherwise you're just stagnant in your learning so it's really cool and it has helped me a lot with my listening uh, in Swedish so I'm really enjoying it enjoying it and I definitely recommend it So after my little pause, I came back and I only had one thing left in my to-do list, which was to listen to my Spotify playlist that I have. I'm gonna link it down below for anyone who's interested. Um, and yeah, I love this playlist. I always listen to it and it's really cool to learn uh, another language through music. I already said that in my last video. So yeah, and of course, the first person in the list had to be the king, Omar. Um, and what's really cool here is that you can just put it on and like go do your chores or whatever or you can sit down and focus on the lyrics and and read them because Spotify lets you do that and I think that's really cool because you can like see how things are written how they sound and that's really nice so yeah I'm gonna listen to this bop because I actually love this song <laughs> 